In today's Rebalance Pilates at Home Props class, we are bringing back my favorite prop, the squishy ball. So um, I'm using an overball here. You don't need to spend the money on an expensive ball for these classes. Simply going to your local dollar store and picking up a ball around this size that it's got a little bit of squish to it for a couple of bucks, it will serve you very well for these classes. Uh, the props classes are all a low to high level intermediate level class, just keep that in mind as you start your journey into these classes. So with all that said and done, go ahead and grab your squishy ball and I will see you on the mat. All right, we're gonna start with some side bends and a little rotation to begin. So taking your squishy ball, we're gonna place it onto the side of the thigh, the palm of the hand just gently squeezing into the ball. Taking a breath in on the exhale, you're going to let your hand roll down that ball as you go for that nice long stretch through the lateral side of the body. Take a breath in, exhale, use those obliques to come on back up. We're gonna do it again, we're letting the head get heavy and over. Exhaling up. Now during our class today, we're not gonna be moving crazy fast through the exercises. In fact, we may be moving a little bit more slowly through the exercises than you're used to. The ball adds this really wonderful, unstable base, and it does take the body some time to kind of figure that out and feel that instability in itself, and then how to find stability through that instability. So we're gonna take our time, we got one last time here. Side bending, let's add just for a little extra stretch, a nice long arm, exhaling, coming up. We're gonna go to the other side. Placing the palm onto the ball, letting the spine get really heavy as it side bends over, and then exhale, come on back up. And again, side bending. Drawing up through pelvic floor, feeling those abdominals kicking in. Let's do about three more here. Just enjoying that long line, that stretching feeling like those ribs are opening wide, like a fan opening wide. And I'm staying heavy on the leg that I'm coming away from. So I'm not shifting my hips out to the side as I side bend, but I'm letting that energy happen from the top of the head all the way through the lateral aspect of my spine as it opens. I'm gonna add that arm to get a little bit more of a fascial stretch there. Gently pressing into the ball for stability and then coming up. I'm just gonna hold the ball in one hand going into a nice bow and arrow here and back. Switching the ball into the other hand as I rotate around. The pelvis is staying nice and stable, facing forward, just rotating through the rib cage and the spine. Let's add an arm extension there. Bring the arm up, rotate through the spine to come back. Let's do that on the other side. Taking the ball, finding that extension through the arm, arm up and around. This is my new favorite way to do bow and arrows. I feel like it gets those obliques working just a little harder. Last one here, up and around. All right, we're coming down onto our back. We're gonna place the ball underneath our feet. Finding your neutral or tension-free pelvic position here, neutral spine, tension-free spine. Let's just start with a nice double knee drop. The inner thighs open and away. This is an opportunity for the body to acclimatize itself to this unstable base. I'm inhaling, allowing the pelvic floor to widen and stretch. As I exhale, the pelvic floor pulls in and up, and those inner thighs draw together. We're gonna do two more here. And then we're gonna go right into it with some nice, slow ab curls, adding to that double knee drop. So I'm gonna curl myself up as I open up my knees and exhale, and, or sorry, inhale as I come back down. So I am changing my breath pattern here. I'm exhaling up and I'm inhaling as I come back. 
I change the breath pattern because I create more intra-abdominal pressure with the ab curl than by just opening the legs on their own. So I want to better support my pelvic floor, manage that intra-abdominal pressure as I curl up, inhaling down. Two more here. Just nice and easy. And down. One more time. Let's come up. We're going to stay. Doing a little toe tap here. I'm going to lift one leg up in that extended position or that turned out position. Bring it down. And the other side. And bring it down. So I am feeling a bit of a shift through the pelvis. I want to try to make it as minimal as possible. As I lift my legs, we're going to do a couple more here. Just challenging the body. One more time each side. Core is gently pulled in. Very much working to keep my upper body lifted. I'm going to lower the head and shoulders and close the legs. Very nice. Let's go back to our double knee drop ab curl. Exhaling as you come up. Inhaling as you come down. Let's do five more. And exhaling up for four. So like I said, this is not going to be a quickly moving class. Two. We got one last time here. We're going to come up and stay. Here's the difference. We're going to lift one leg up into that tabletop. I'm going to roll the other leg out. Pull it back in. Do that again. Roll it out. Staying in that curl. Pull it back in. Let's do this three more times. Roll it out. You may have to move the ball to be better centered under the foot. One more time. In, lower the leg, back into a double knee drop, close the double knee drop, lower the head and shoulders. Let's do the other side. We're curling up and coming into that double knee drop, bringing the other leg up, rolling the leg out, pulling it in for five. Exhale out, pull it in for four. Three. Two, one. Coming in, lowering the feet to the ball, coming in and lowering down. All right, we're going to now roll that ball all the way out to a long leg and bring the hands out behind you. Ab curls here, take a breath in. Exhale as I curl up just to the base of the shoulder blades, reaching the legs out nice and long, and then lengthening myself back. And again, exhale, curl. Now, if this is too much for the neck, bring a hand behind the head, or both hands behind the head, and you can absolutely do this like so. But we want to challenge ourselves by having that longer lever to have to manage. Let's do three more. Three. Exhaling, two, exhaling, one, I am going to hold this, bring the hands behind the head for support, roll the ball back in, inhale it out, exhale, inhale, exhale, already feeling those upper abs working quite significantly. Let's do this for four and three and two. One more time. Lowering the head and shoulders and reaching the arms back behind. We're going to go into roll ups from here. So we start our curl up, big exhale as we roll through that low back over the arms, then I'm going to stack myself up nice and tall here, scooping through the tummy muscles, I'm going to roll myself back in. And again, curling, up and over the legs, stack up tall through my spine, and roll myself back down. One more time like this rolling over the legs, 
Stack the spine up nice and tall. Little bow and arrow. Other side, little bow and arrow. Back to center, roll yourself back down. All the way nice and long. Do that again. Exhale, rolling up. Stacking tall. Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. Last one, roll down. Take a breath in. Exhale, especially through that low back. I like the ball under the feet for the roll-ups. Nice little challenge. Here's our last little bow and arrow. We're not rolling down, we're staying up, bringing the hands back behind you. My fingertips are going to face forward. We're going to go into a little, I believe it's called controls front. Don't always remember the names of the Pilates exercises. From here, we're going to take a breath in. I'm going to squeeze my bum and I'm going to lift my hips up off the floor, pressing into the ball, lifting up through the hands, and then come back down. Do that again, exhale, lift, actively pressing into the ball, lifting the bum off the floor, and then back down. Let's do it again, exhale, lift, and down. Exhale, lift, we're gonna stay up at the top. From here, I'm gonna do a little tricep. So my bum is absolutely going to touch the floor. It is obviously not a big movement, but that's okay. I can definitely feel those triceps working for four, three, two, one. Coming down. I'm going to bring my arms back just a little bit more behind me. Lifting the bum up. I'm actually going to lift a little higher now and then back down. Doing that again. Lifting up, lifting higher through my bum, and down. So my hands were very close to my bum to start. It was a very small range of movement. Now I'm getting a much larger range of movement the further my hands have gone back. I'm going to stay up there on this next one, really pressing my bum up to the sky, and do those tricep push-ups again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Pausing there, I'm going to swing my bum under my uh, body and then back. Swing my bum under my shoulders and back. Woo! Finding that ball. Swing it back and up. Lots of upper body strength here. Two. One more time. Lower down. Sit tall. Arms out in front of you, rolling down through the spine, and arms back. All right, we're going to go ahead into a hip lift series, and we're going to place the ball underneath the feet. If you are enjoying today's class and you would like to do the class in its entirety, because yes, there is more to this class, you will find it on my on-demand site, Rebalance Pilates at Home. The link is in the description box. On Rebalance Pilates at Home, not only will you find this class in its entirety, but you will find over 160 Pilates mat classes of varying lengths, levels, and intensities. And if you use the code PILATES15 at checkout, you'll get 15% off your first payment. And you will also get a seven-day free trial when you subscribe. So that's seven days on me for you to enjoy Pilates classes. So. I hope that I will continue to see you on the mat and please like and subscribe as I will be uploading these little mini workouts pretty frequently and um, I hope that you will continue to join me in your Pilates journey. Thank you so much.